Hello everyone. Now uh, we'll be implementing uh, another agentic AI project with the help of LangGraph. So LangGraph is one of the like framework uh, for implementing uh, this kinds of agentic AI uh, project. So this is from actually uh, LangChain. So LangChain uh, has created this LangGraph. Okay. And uh, if you compare this LangGraph with Kuru AI, I will tell Kuru AI is uh, like um, uh, simple and it is uh, like uh, most used one because LangGraph syntax is a little bit uh, harder to understand. Uh, okay, so personally I like Kuru AI, but if you are interested, you can also explore the LangGraph. So let's see how we can uh, create a basic uh, agents with the help of this uh, LangGraph. So you can see the documentation, but uh, this uh, LangGraph documentation is not like uh, very, uh, very organized. So first of all, let's uh, see my demo okay then after that you can go to the documentation then you can understand so i have already prepared the content guys you can see so how to set up the project the same thing you have to do first of all open up your terminal <coughs> then just activate your environment so conda first of all create then activate so conda activate agent demo so then you have to install the requirements so pip install hyphen requirement.txt so installation is completed now just open this langgraph demo.ipmv file and select your kernel okay the environment you created so here you need actually some environment uh, like keys so first of all you have to add your open ai key so first of all you have to add your open ai api key i already added then you have to add the tabli api key and tabli is another search tool okay so previously we used something called sarp api so now we'll be using Tabli. Now how to get the Tabli API key? So just go to the website of Tabli, Tabli.com and make sure you created one account. So I already have the account, let me log in. So after uh, like a login, you will see these kinds of dashboard. Now here you can see your API key, okay. So if you don't have, you can create the API key from here, but I already have what I will do, I'll just try to copy. And here, let's try to mention, okay. Then after that, let's load the API key. I will set as environment variable. I will load the OpenAI model. I'm using GPT 3.5 Turbo model. And here, first of all, I'm testing this tabli source. Okay, so here I'm doing a source operation. Tell me about 2025 LA wildfire updates. Okay, I think you know in Los Angeles there was a wildfire. Okay, so first of all, I'm giving this question and my tabli will try to search over the internet. It will see, it will use different different website. Let me open the website. So this is one website. This is another website. This is another website okay so from this website it is getting the real-time information and it is providing to us okay but here we have lots of content okay so we have to pass this uh, content to the llm llm will try to summarize it will give you the defined answer uh, so this thing we'll try to do right now okay you can see it is giving you uh, the like uh, search uh, result now here search is equal to three that's why it is uh, like referring three website if it is four it will refer four website okay that's how now let's initialize the tool that means uh, the, this particular tool we have created tabli search tool now this is the tool you can see it's a tabli search tool now let's import the agents from langgraph so langgraph pre-built create react agents okay and we are creating the agent object so it is it will take your llm as an tool now yet we are giving the human prompt you can see this is the human prompt tell me about la will fire updates okay this is the human message and we are executing with the help of uh, this uh, agents okay now see it will give you the response so guys, here you can see, I got the response here. Now, if you want to see the message only, so here is the message. Say here are some updates of, of the 2000, uh, sorry, uh, 2025 Los Angeles build fire, okay? So that means it is providing the entire report of that. Now, you can also add the memory if you want. So let's say in the chat GPT also, we have the memory functionality. So if you ask any question, it will remember your previous context. So for this, in the line graph, we have the memory, okay, saver. So let's create a memory saver object. Now, uh, whenever we are initializing the agents, you have to, pass this memory as a check pointer now you can also create the trade id let's say this is the first trade so in this trade actually it will remember your conversation let's say who won the 2024 soccer euro cup so this is my question i have asked in the trade one now it is doing the real-time source operation different different website it will uh, give you the response here. so you can see this is the victory team now here i'm asking another question who were the top stars of the winner team Okay, now I haven't asked like the about the Euro Cup. Okay, but it will remember my previous context. The top stars of the Spain, okay, who won the Euro Cup, who included Mikel, okay, and so on. Now let's say instead of using trade one, I'm using trade two. Okay. Now here I'm asking about what soccer team we are talking about. Now here you can see it is telling I don't have the context of the previous conversation. But if I give so now if I change the trade ID, let's say one. Now if I execute, so it should 
uh, able to give me the answer. See, we are talking about the Spain national soccer team. Okay. So that means uh, that's how we can create the memory functionality if you want with your agents. Okay. So this was a like a demo of the Lang graph. I hope you got it guys. So that's how we can implement agents. Now simply go to the documentation and you can check it there. Example definitely will be able to build your own agents. So yes guys, this is all about. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much.